Yo, what's going on guys? Today, the game manager, Innie, made a new video saying that there's breaking news on Toilet Tower Defense. So let's go ahead and react to his video and see what it's all about. But real quick, before we get into that, of course, you guys know, if the news is saying that the game's coming back, make sure you guys enter the giveaway for the signed mythic unit that I'll be giving one lucky subscriber. All you gotta do is leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, run the road to 300k. Hopefully we can hit 300k before my birthday on October 13th. Is that possible? I sure hope so, guys. But anyways, also leave a comment with your Roblox username, and then once you guys do those three things, head on over to my website, ltcrazy.com, and I'll show you guys what to do next. So once you guys are on my website, scroll on down and click giveaways. Now, once this page loads up, you're going to see all my current active giveaways right here, and I actually made the Skibby Defense one the one on the top, so you just have to scroll down a little bit, and it's right here. And then we got some other ones on here as well, Blade Ball, and then the real Toy Tower Defense game when that comes back. And then also, guys, don't forget to, you know, use the website for, like, what it's intended for. I got the value of, like, units, pets on Pet Sim. We got Blade Ball tips, code, stuff like that, and all those cool things like codes, tips, tricks, and stuff are going to be coming to Skibby Defense page as well. So enjoy the website, guys. It's free to use, and uh, let's get back to the video. All right, guys, so I got Indy's new video pulled up here, and we're going to check it out and react to it live. This is the first time I'm watching this, so let's see what the breaking news is. You know, fingers crossed here. I really, really hope that they have at least some news on what's going on with TTD because, you know, you guys know I missed the game. You missed the game. We all just want it back at the end of the day, so let's hope that this is the video that, you know, tells us it's coming back. So here we go. Three, two, one, and play it. We have a lot of questions for today, such as, is my data going to be saved? How do you guys have our... I feel like they already answered that question about the data being saved. I'm pretty sure in like a video or two ago, and he already said to you guys that the data is going to be saved because basically it's on like, I guess the uh, one of the developers of the game, his name's Evan. He has his like own website, I guess. I'm not really sure how this works or whatever, but like they transferred all of the Roblox data to that website. So like, even if the game is completely deleted, all of these stuff will still be there as long as the website doesn't go down or get hacked or something like that. You guys have nothing to worry about. All of your stuff is in the game and it'll be saved because it's on the website, all right? So if the game comes back, you're all good to go. Data say that the game is down. Another question we have is if Toilet Tower Defense comes back, how are we going to track updates that we are missing out on? Another question. That's actually a really interesting question. I'm curious too, because right now, I'm not sure guys, let me know in the comments, what is like, the actual like skibbity series on right now like what episode it's probably like 66 67 or something like that if i had to guess because what was the last update on ttd like 63 or 64 so like we missed out on quite a bit of stuff you know we have so many new units that could be added to ttd i bet i'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't really watch the series too too much you guys will tell me to check out an episode here and there and i'll go look at it and i watch it and i'm just like eh, you know it, it's all right it's pretty cool but like at the end of the day the graphics in my opinion aren't the best but you know what it is what it is i get the appeal it's uh an interesting theme and i've watched it and you know what i give the guy a view it's uh it's pretty cool it, it's cool that like it's all animated by just like one guy he's doing it he's getting like 33 million views that's awesome good for him i wish i could do the same thing but at the end of the day you know just let me know what the best episode is i'll go check that one out too but either way let's just keep continuing here is if you bought items would you guys get a refund for the items you bought if the game doesn't come back up and i'm gonna answer all those questions today I think the refund thing, me and uh, a few other YouTubers already have covered. Basically, Roblox does not do any, you know, refunds. Or even if they did, you want to get it fully back because the devs already used some of the Robux and Robux themselves are already taken some Robux. So that's uh, a little bit of an issue. But let's see what other, like, other stuff he has to say. So first things first, how do we have all your data saved? Well, all the data is actually stored on, like, an external site. Like, it's not stored on Roblox. See, guys, I already knew that because he already answered this question, I swear, like three days ago. But let's continue and not uh, judge. Here we go. Basically, we have possibly a Google like cloud, basically, where we link it up to Roblox. So all your data is stored like on a cloud based server or just on a website that has like, you know, data storage. I don't. That's good because, like I said before, if the game is officially deleted, well, at least all that stuff will be there. But I guess if the game is deleted, guys, it doesn't really matter because what are we going to do with the data if the game's gone and we can't use it? So. At the end of the day, I don't really think that that matters so much, but let's just continue and see what he has to say. I don't know what the website's called, but I know that Evan knows it. So it's Evan's website, and he has all your data saved in case the game does get deleted. So all your data is saved just in case the game does come back. Another. Oh, that's, I mean, like I said, guys, that's good at the end of the day. At least the data is still there. Good for Evan for thinking ahead here. They probably had some, like, you know, maybe thought that maybe down the road the game would be, uh, you know, taken down for copyright infringement and uh, really smart on their part to back it all up. That was super, super genius. And uh, hopefully it comes back. 
let me know in the comments guys first of all do you think the game is coming back and if you do think it's coming back let me know in how many days i'm curious to what you guys think at this point i am starting to like slowly lose hope you know i know i probably shouldn't be because i really need this game to come back it was amazing and really good for the channel i hope it comes back but guys i'm losing hope and uh you know if i had to say something i'd probably say next weekend maybe that's probably my best uh, guess but if it's not back by next weekend guys we're slowly approaching that 45 day mark if we hit 45 days the game is i'm pretty sure deleted forever so that's a little scary but let's continue the question that we've been having is how are we going to track the updates to update the game if the game does come back well i think we're not going to be doing like episodes anymore I Ooh, that's interesting there are no more episodes that's going to be like either a good thing or a bad thing because I guess it's a good thing because then they could just kind of do whatever the heck they want, right? Like, hopefully, like the Halloween event, like we talked about, like yesterday. I don't know what we're going to be doing. I think we're just going to be just like calling them update, like update 65 or something. But we're going to be adding the best units to each other. Well, if they just call it update 65, then it's exactly the same thing. They just took out the word episode. So, eh, we'll see how that goes. I don't know. I don't know about that. You might as well just call it something cool like the Halloween Toilet Tower Defense update. I don't know. Something like that. The Thanksgiving Halloween update, or not, well, you guys know what I mean. It doesn't matter. I don't know. We'll see. Episode 65, update 65, Halloween update, Thanksgiving update, Christmas update. It all, you know, will work out at the end of the day. As long as we're getting new updates and the game's back, that's a good thing, right? Let's continue. Day, or we're probably just going to be adding it very slowly, or I think we're going to add it all at once. I'm not really too sure just yet because, like, there's no, like, talks going around about updates because, like, the game... No talks about updates? Ooh, guys, that's not good. That means, like... You know, I, mean, I get their position. They're probably more worried about getting the game back up. But if they're not even talking about future updates, then what uh, makes us think that the game's actually going to be coming back at that point? I mean, like they should be prepared for the future when the game does come back up. They should be, you know, but I don't know. Maybe not. I guess in their situation, probably be more worried about getting it back up. But at that point, if they're not even like, you know, if they knew the game would be back, then they'd be thinking about updates because they knew the game's coming back. But it, it doesn't seem very good. But let's continue game's kind of like down so we're not really talking about updates we're mostly just talking about like how to get the game back up another question that we have is if you guys bought I basically what we said there hopefully it comes back good luck any good luck to Lantric. good luck evan and whoever else is on the dev team hopefully you guys get it back we all miss it a lot hashtag bring back ttd you guys know where it's at let's continue items and the game does not come back up will you guys be getting a refund now i've answered this before like multiple times but most likely not now the reason why that's some sad news guys this is something else i'm pretty interested in let me know guys if you're uh comfortable with doing it how much robux did you spend on toilet tower defense me personally i bought all the game passes and i bought a bunch of crates to give away for you guys you guys probably know that some of you guys were winners of them uh congrats but uh let me know how much you spent i probably spent a few thousand because we got all that stuff but it was worth it at the end of the day in my opinion you know i got a good use out of it and you know at least uh, i got to give back to the community for those are the, like the crates that i gave to you guys so pretty cool but I'm just curious because I know some of my subscribers, guys, like Creepercraft, the one day he spent over like 10,000 Robux trying to get the Spider TV and he never got it. I feel so bad for him. And then like a week later, the game got deleted. It was so sad. But let's continue. Why is because Roblox is really hard like to give refunds through. When you guys buy something, Roblox takes 30% for themselves. So if we were to do refunds by ourselves, you guys wouldn't be getting the full amount of Robux. Yeah, so that ro when the Roblox takes 30%, that's crazy. So you spend 100, they take 30, and then the uh, development team... They will get 70% of that. So, you know, basically that's what like YouTube does and like every platform because they got to make a living somehow too, right? And they got to make their money. Robux back. On top of that, Roblox also just wouldn't care enough to do refunds themselves because like they're taking. See, now when he says that, I don't really get that because I feel like it would be like Talantric, Any, and those guys doing the refund. But I'm not, I'm not sure how that works. Like you guys know, I'm not a developer or anything on that side, but like, I don't know why Roblox would have to be in, in on that. I think at least like, Hey, give 70% back. That's cool too. But I know for a fact that like these guys spent the Robux, like you guys just look at any's character right now. He's wearing uh, a Dominus. I think that's what that's called. It's really expensive. Like, you know, hat, helmet, whatever you call that thing. And uh, yeah, you guys, you're not getting your Robux back. Don't be hopeful on it. You know, sorry to break the bad news. But uh, don't be fooled. You're not going to get it back. Just don't even think you're going to get it back. I already, uh, you know, felt the pain. At this point, guys, it's a sunk cost. What that means is it's in the past. Look ahead. Look forward, guys. Don't worry about it, all right? It's gone. Nothing you can do to change it. It's gone. You spent it. Learn from your mistakes. You know, in the future, Roblox games, they come and go. Some of them are really popular one day. Next day, they're dead. Or the next day, they're deleted. Be careful, guys. That's all I'm saying. 
these uh, games, they try to get you to gamble and they try to get you to spend a lot of real life money to get these items in these games that don't matter at the end of the day. If you love playing the game, I get it, guys. I like playing like games like NHL, Call of Duty, stuff like that. But if they added like a battle pass system in these games, that would be much better. But the way they do it, they have these like, you know, gambling systems and it's just really not good. But, you know, if I was a dev too, I can't say that I wouldn't do the same thing. And if you guys were in their positions, you maybe can't say the same thing either. Maybe you guys would have the system because it's allowed, it's legal, and people do it, and it's the best strategy, in my opinion. But, you know, you guys might have your own. So let me know in the comments. But let's continue. Time and resources and giving money away. Like, Robux would do something for free. They kind of, like, want money out of it. And if they're basically... Of course they do. Everyone wants money, man. Right, Any? Everyone wants money. Be giving away Robux again because, like, a game got deleted. Like, that's basically them losing money. So, realistically speaking, I don't think Roblox would care enough to do refunds. So, the only thing we really... I still don't really get how, like robux and real money work i i know that there's some sort of like dev x like exchange program but isn't it weird guys like how like robux is like an actual currency i guess i don't even know what the exchange rate is i just know it's not a lot like if you have one robux it's worth like not even a penny so it's uh it's tough for these devs to make a lot of money on roblox i hope that one day they like increase the amount that robux is maybe worth i don't know because maybe that'd be bad for spenders in the game i'm not sure but it's a pretty interesting thing to think about, just like that Robux is actually worth real money, and you can actually exchange it back into real money, which is pretty cool. What you really can do is just hope that the game comes back with all your stuff, because I don't think Roblox will be handing out refunds anytime soon, guys. I know they Yeah, I doubt it either, Any. They do refunds for, like, UGC items and stuff like that, but I don't know how, like, game passes will go with, like... Remember back in Petson, they had, like, the UGC items, like the banana and stuff? That'd be pretty cool if they did something like that for uh, TTD. I would have definitely bought that because, see, that would have been really cool. You would have it forever on your account. But in this case, like, the stuff that's in the game it doesn't really stick with your account forever, if, especially if the game's deleted or whatever. But if you have, like, a cool hat that, like, maybe turned into, like, a unit, that's a pretty darn cool idea. If you ask me, at least. Like millions upon millions of like just sales. If you guys have any more questions, just comment them down below and I'll try to answer them in like the next video. Well, pretty uh, classic video there. I mean, breaking news. I don't know about that for the title. Maybe a little bit misleading. There wasn't really any big news there for us. We learned a few new interesting things, I think. But at the end of the day, still no news on the game actually coming back, which is really sad. But at this point, not really expecting much. I, I expect another video tomorrow to come out. It's going to be the same exact thing. He's probably going to say, we have any new news? Well, no. Well, you know what? Same thing every day, right? No news, but same videos. That's okay. I respect it. Respect the hustle. You guys should too. If you were in his position, probably be doing the same thing. And personally, so we're going to just keep on reacting until one of these days, we actually get some breaking news and the game's coming back. And that would be pretty sweet. Hopefully, you know, if it's not that news, guys, the sad news is going to be the game is going to be deleted for good. It's either one of those two options, guys. And we're quickly approaching both of them. So, or well, one of them, because it's only going to be one. It's either coming back or it's going to be deleted. So I'm excited to see what the future of this game is. I'm going to keep uh, you guys updated on all these like breaking news, like stories on Toilet Tower Defense. And if we get any new information on Talantric or Boom or anything like that, you guys know on the channel to keep you updated on. So I will be doing that for as long as I could until the game is officially gone and there's nothing else to make on this game. So with all that being said, guys, if you haven't left a like yet and subbed yet, you made it this far in the video, smash both of those buttons until they're broken and then make sure you fix it and comment your Roblox username so you're entered into the giveaway. And then make sure you do like, all the tickets on the website. And if you guys are like looking at your values or stuff like that for games, tips, codes, all on the website, ltcrazy.com, check it out. With all that being said, if you guys want to watch another video from me, check out this one on your screen right now where we play a game that's like similar to Toyota Tower Defense. It's called Skibby Defense, but we do PvP mode, which is something that Toyota Tower Defense never added, unfortunately, but it's really fun. Check it out. It's on your screen now. Click it, and I'll see you guys on over there. Adios.